So now our handy stitch is threaded and we're ready to sew with it. Let's take our practice fabric. When you sew with the handy stitch, it always goes from left to right, just like you're reading a book. Start sewing on this end and it goes to your right. So what we need to do now is get our fabric underneath the fastening plate. In the instruction manual, it suggests that you push it up this way. The only problem with this is it's practically impossible to get your fabric in there if you push it up from this direction. So again, I would recommend grasping the bottom arm of the handy stitch and raising the fastening plate with your index finger and then placing your fabric inside. When you lower the fastening plate, you will be able to determine where you want that stitch line to fall. For us, it's going to be a little over a centimeter from the fold. You can adjust that by once again raising the fastening plate. If you want to sew closer to the fold, just pull the fabric out a little bit. Now this edge of the fastening plate is an excellent guide. When you're sewing, keep your eye on this side of the fastening plate and its relation to and its relation to the edge of the fabric. That you want to practice to keep steady so that you have a nice straight seam. Even with practice, it can be a challenge to keep your seam line straight. One of the things that will help is to gently pull the side. The fabric will feed by itself, but you'll need to guide with your eye on this side and your left hand on this side. Back the switch lock. I'm going to press the power button and start sewing. After sewing a couple of inches, bring your hand forward and start sewing again, keeping your eye on this side so that we can keep our stitch line as straight as possible. So now we've gotten close to where we want to stop sewing. The instructions recommend three or four more stitches. There we go. Maybe one more for good. In order to remove our fabric, we need to raise the needle arm. And this can be done by turning the rotating wheel. So now our needle is in. The needle is now in its highest position. With my left hand, I'm going to raise the fastening plate and with my seam ripper, pull this thread through about three or four inches. That thread has to be cut. Make one more stitch. Once again, the needle is in, is in its highest position. This time with my right hand, I'm lifting the fastening plate and very gently pulling. You can see, as I pull on this fabric, it very easily comes apart. In order to lock that stitch, go to the back of the fabric and you'll see a tiny loop standing up. Let's gently pull that loop so that the end of that thread comes back to the side of the fabric. Now that stitch is locked. If you need to lock it further, take a needle, a hand sewing needle, and just reinforce that with a couple of hand stitches. So you see here, we have a fairly straight stitch line. This side is locked as well. I recommend that you practice on this fabric four, five, six times until you get a really good feel for the handy stitch. 
Then when you're ready to do the projects that are on the promotional video, you'll be able to do so with confidence.